Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how you can automatically send an email to your newly created Zoho CRM leads via Gmail. Here, for creating leads, I'm going to use Zoho CRM. You can use any other CRM platforms like HubSpot, Pipedrive, etc. So here, Zoho CRM and Gmail are two very different applications and there is no direct connection between Zoho CRM and Gmail. That's why we are going to integrate both of these applications with the help of an integration software that is Pabli Connect. So that whenever a new lead is created in Zoho CRM, Pabli Connect will automatically send an email to the same lead via Gmail. And one more part here, there is no requirement for the coding skills in the whole video and any non-technical person can also do this easily. So let's begin with the process and an example. Okay, so this is my Zoho CRM here. It is the lead section. I'm going to create a lead here with the help of this create lead button. And here, this is the mail ID of the person of whom I'm creating a lead. Okay, so here in the Zoho CRM, I'm going to create a lead here. Just click on it. Okay, now here I'm going to fill some mandatory details about my lead. So that is any last name. Malhotra, company, DLF, okay, title, suppose, product, manager, okay, and the mobile number. Okay, and here the email ID, the important one. gmail.com okay so we have successfully completed the details these are some mini details you can fill all of them but right now i'm going to fill only these so yeah i'm going to click on save and the lead has been created now i'm going back to this email id and we'll see whether we have received the email about the lead creation or not so here this is the mail id i'm going to refresh the inbox okay so here it is visible so just click on it okay so here we have received the email that is lead created okay so hey animal Uta, your lead has been created okay so how we did it let's learn the process by typing pabli.com in the new tabs browser okay so here in the new tab type pabli that is p a b b l y dot com okay now press enter and this is the site of Pabli. Here you have to click on products and you have to click on connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. Here you have to sign in. As I have already created my account, that's why I'm directly signing in. You can also sign up for free just in two minutes with the help of this sign up free button. Okay, so sign in. Okay, so this is my account and here I'm going to click on connect access now. Okay, so that's how you will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you have to create the workflow. Okay, so here with the help of this create workflow button, just click on it. And here you have to name of your workflow. So I'm going to give it name as Zoho CRM to Gmail. Okay, now click on create. Okay, so this is the name of your workflow. Here I would like to mention that I will add the link of this workflow in the description box. You can directly clone it and directly access it into your account. Okay, so here, whenever you click on create, these two windows will appear. This is known as trigger window and this is known as action window. Here we are going to choose first application and then we are going to choose the next application. Now you might be thinking what is this trigger or action. So let me tell you, whenever we talk about automation in Pabli Connect, it works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Suppose in this use case, whenever a new lead is created in Zoho CRM will be triggered and sent email via Gmail would be action of this process. Okay, so that's how we are going to make a connection between Zoho CRM and Gmail with the help of Pabli Connect. First, we are going to send the data from Zoho CRM to Pabli Connect and then we are sending the data from Pabli Connect to Gmail. In this manner, we are going to make a connection. So here in the trigger window, I'm going to choose the trigger application as Zoho CRM. 
okay now here in the trigger event new module entry so i'm going to choose it to new module entry and here one more option is visible that is update module entry okay so here in the new module entry i'm going to show you something here in the zoho crm let me just go on the home okay so these are modules so whenever you have to make the changes here that will be your event okay so here in the public connect i'm going to add or i'm going to create a new lead that's why i'm choosing this particular event okay so click on connect okay now here you have to add a new connection and here connect with zoho crm okay now here the domain i'm going back to this zoho crm and here this is my zoho uh, zoho.com domain name okay copy it and paste it in this window okay so this is the domain name your domain name may be different so here i'm going to click on this particular done okay so it is connected and here it is showing and asking for the permission so here public connect is asking for the permission so you can give access as it is 100% safe to use so click on accept okay so the authorization is successful that means connection of zoho crm with public connect is successful now here the module name what are module name i have just shown you let me just show you once more these are the module name that is leads contacts these are the module names here so here in the public connect these will be visible that is contacts account deals products codes actually these are all will be visible here actually okay these are visible account section okay so everything is visible there so i have to create a lead that's why i'm going to choose lead and here i'm going to click on save and send test request okay so it is waiting for webhook response just click on it okay now here in the zoho crm i'm going back and here in the lead section i'm going to create a lead okay with the help of this create lead button okay so here the first name is gary last name is monro suppose the company name is let me just fix this t okay okay and here the title is product manager mobile number okay now here the most important thing email okay so here okay so this is the mail id and i'm done with the mandatory details you can fill all these details but i'm just filling these only so i'm going to click on save and i'm saving the lead details and i have successfully created the lead okay so here going back to public connect and here we have received the response that means we have got the details of newly created lead okay the company name email id and the name of the lead and everything mobile number okay so everything is visible here so here we have successfully captured the details from zoho crm to public connect now we are sending these details from public connect to gmail so for that in the action application we are going to choose action application as gmail it is visible here so you can just simply click it here or you can just type here in the choose up section okay so here the action event so i have to send an email that's why i'm choosing this particular event you can choose according to yourself okay now click on connect in order to make a connection between gmail and public connect here i'm going to add new connection and here connect with gmail so here public connect will ask for the account from which you have to send the email so i'm selecting this account as i want to send the email from this particular account okay so here again public connect will now ask for the access so you can give the access to public it is 100 percent safe to use click on allow okay now the authorization successful that means connection is successful now here all the fields are visible recipient's name email address sender name sender email address everything okay so here i'm going to fill the details so here recipient name it is visible you can just simply type it okay one more thing uh, here in the above window 
all the details are visible okay so how to send these details here here whenever you click on this particular field this drop down will appear and you can just simply click on it and here all the details of our window will available these details are available for simply mapping okay so that every time your data comes automatically so here in the recipient name i'm going to search for okay so this is the full name gary monroe okay and here recipient's email address again i can search for it by typing email so this is the email okay and sender name we can simply write the sender name here this is the owner name you can just simply write it here and here i'm going to add this email address okay so the email address of sender here you can write and this is the owner email you have to put this there okay and here reply to email address not very interested and here email subject so here i'm typing it as lead created okay now i have made the subject this and the email content so i can simply write it as hey thank you now here in this hey i'm just going to press enter and here i'm going to add the name again with the help of mapping i can simply write the name okay this is the full name thank you for your interest okay we can just simply write this this is just a random email you can obviously write according to yourself so here i am done with these details now i'm going to click on save and send test request okay okay so the mail has been sent and here i'm going back to my this gary monroe's id and we'll see whether we receive the email of lead creation or not okay so here i'm going to refresh it okay so here is the new mail that is from ashray ashray okay that was the owner name that why it has come like this okay so hello hello gary monroe thank you for your interest so this was the mail that we have sent from zoho crm to gmail okay so here i'm going back to public connect and in this manner we have connected zoho crm to gmail so let me just minimize the window and let me just show you what we have done and we are going to summarize the whole process here what we have done we have connected zoho crm with gmail in order to just send the details from zoho crm to gmail okay we are when whenever we are creating a new lead we want to send the email to the same to the same lead okay and here first we have sent the data to public connect and then we have sent the data to gmail in this manner we have connected these two applications and not just these two applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with public connect link of public connect and this workflow is given in the description for any queries contact us at admin@publi.com and if you really found this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching